Hi, welcome to the YouTube channel. This is Alphabet Animal Kingdom, how to draw a hedgehog. So draw a blob, draw it lightly, flatten this out, and then what I'm gonna do is turn there and turn on the other side for the mouth. And right at the mouth, flat and then round for the nose, really, really close together. So just to show you how close it is, this is where the eye would be. Kind of draw a C here. And then on the other side would be obviously a backward C. And then a little circle inside it kind of dips in. There you go. Just like that for the eye. Great. So I did some, I saw some diagonals, but if you don't want to do that, that's okay. These are zigzags. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the ears. Notice that they're kind of right on the angle of the eye right there. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> or a zigzag. Ah, I made the body pretty big, but that's okay. I think it looks kind of cute. So I made it really rounded off right there. And then what else can you do? You can flatten that out. It seems like a theme here. So two diagonals for the arms. And then I'm gonna turn that so it goes into the body a little bit better. What else? All right, let's round this off and then go ahead and draw the toes. So I just kind of turned my lines, rounded them off and jumped a little bit of a space so that there's some room between it so I can shade there. But it depends on how you see it and what you want to do with it. But that's what I did with the, the feet. And then let's see here. Oh, let's draw the fur there, wherever it changes color. This one changes color, so, and this is where it's gonna be shaded in. And then again, this is gonna change its markings. So, let's see here. I bubbled out the highlights, but I didn't end up using them. <laughs> and I tried, but the nose I did, I bubbled that out. So, nice and gentle when you shade this in. This I put a little bit of pressure on it to make it that dark. And you might need a 4B pencil if you have that. That might be best to get that dark. Yep, I'm kind of figuring my way around there. That's dark there. And great, let's make this wiggle, wiggle, wiggle along there. Really close to the nose, do you see that? All right, shade this in, make this nice and dark. But remember with the fur, you don't want to stroke or use the your pencil in a long, long way when you stroke, because that's going to indicate how long the fur will look. So shorter strokes make it look more like fur. All right, great. So I'm just kind of wiggling over those lines that I drew nice and soft there for the ears. And yeah, oh, I like that angle right there, kind of cute. So wiggle, 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 wiggle for your lines or zigzag. Notice I'm not lifting my pencil up when I start uh, shading it in or coloring it in or filling it in. By the way, you can color this in if you want to, if you prefer to use colors. I'm just using a pencil. Uh, great. So I hope you've enjoyed drawing a hedgehog. And this is my alphabet animal kingdom. Enjoy. Oh, please like and subscribe. <laughs>